Hey fam, welcome to another video. Today I want to do an update to some of my other tutorials and I want to tell you how we can send Ethereum to and from your Ronin wallet while avoiding as many fees as possible, avoiding those hefty Ethereum gas fees. Now, this is going to involve buying wrapped Ethereum directly in your Ronin wallet to avoid the bridge when you're getting Ronin there, and it's going to involve sending wrapped Ethereum from your Ronin wallet directly to Binance to avoid the gas fees that way as well. If you cannot use Binance, I will talk about that as well. If you need a Binance account, I have an affiliate link down in the description. Go and check that out. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. There will be timestamps down in the description. You can jump to either section, but we're going to start with talking about getting Ethereum into Ronin, into the Ronin network, and then we'll talk about getting Ethereum out of Ronin into Binance or just onto the Ethereum mainnet if you can't use Binance. First thing you need to know is that if you're bridging assets to and from Binance and Ronin, right? If you're gonna switch Ethereum to and from Binance and Ronin, you need to know that you cannot send Ethereum to Ronin. Ronin does not deal with Ethereum, it deals with wrapped Ethereum. So if you're using the bridge, what the bridge does is it wraps your Ethereum and puts it on the Ronin sidechain. But if you're going from Binance, if, for example, in your spot and your fiat wallet, you have some Ethereum, okay? You have some Ethereum here. You cannot send this Ethereum to Ronin. Please do not do that. You need to send wrapped Ethereum to Ronin if you're gonna do it that way, okay? But you cannot buy wrapped Ethereum. Quick interruption, let me clarify. You can buy Ethereum in Binance, but you cannot convert Ethereum to wrapped Ethereum in Binance, okay? So you cannot actually buy wrapped Ethereum in Binance, at least not yet. So if you already have wrapped Ethereum in Binance, you got it some other way, you can send it back to Ronin, but you cannot get it from scratch. You cannot start by getting wrapped Ethereum in Binance. So we're going to show you how you can use the Ronin wallet to buy wrapped Ethereum instead. I have some here because I transferred it from Ronin to Binance, which we will demonstrate after this, okay? So if you can't buy wrapped Ethereum in Binance and you cannot change Ethereum back into wrapped Ethereum on Binance, how do you get it without paying gas fees? Well, you can do it the gas fee method. If you already have Ethereum, you can use the Ronin bridge and you can deposit it, okay? And I have a demonstration on this already in another video. I'll put a link somewhere. But this does take gas fees, which as you can see right now would be extremely high. So how do you get Ethereum into Ronin without paying gas fees? Well, you simply buy it directly in Ronin. Now there is a feature for this. And to do this, you simply click on the Ronin network, you click deposit, and you continue to purchase. And from here, you can purchase wrapped Ethereum and it will walk you through the steps for buying this Ethereum. Now, if you were Canadian like me, you could type in your Canadian country, you could pay USD, you will proceed, and then it will ask you for your email and some information. So if you punched in your email, you go ahead and you accept the terms. You don't need to receive emails about ramp. You proceed. It's gonna give you a confirmation code, so I'm gonna grab that. You will paste it in here, and then you go ahead and click continue, and then it will take you to this menu. You can go ahead and you can choose card. These payment methods will vary depending on your country and then you enter your billing information. Once you've entered your billing information, you will enter your credit card, you will click add card, and then you will click pay. Now, because I'm Canadian, none of my credit cards work with this system. So that's another thing to keep in mind is not every bank, not every card system will allow you to purchase cryptocurrency. It's one of the things with Canadian banks that's so frustrating. Most of them don't allow anything to do with cryptocurrency because they don't want you taking business away from them. What I do and what I've talked about in other videos as a Canadian is I buy my Ethereum through ShakePay and I use this bridge and what I do is I just keep an eye on Axie.Live and you wait until the fees are as low as possible. Unfortunately, that's all you can do. That is the only way you're gonna get Ethereum 
into the Ronin network if you can't use the purchase Ethereum button directly in Ronin. So go ahead and try this first. That is the only way to avoid the gas fees. And then if you can't, you're gonna have to use the Ronin bridge and basically just keep an eye on Axie.live and find the times when this are cheapest. That is that, and I hope that's pretty straightforward. I apologize that I can't do the full demo of this here, but I wanted to point it out. So now let's say you have some Ethereum in your wallet, you have some in the Axie marketplace system. Maybe you've done some breeding, maybe you've sold some Axies, and now you wanna take your Ethereum back out of Ronin, okay? So now, this is where a Binance account comes in really handy, and let's demonstrate that right now. So, from your bot wallet, if you already have wrapped Ethereum, you can find it here. You type in WETH, and it will appear under your balances, and then you can click deposit or you can go ahead and you can click deposit up at the top here and you can search for any coin you want. In this case, we're doing wrapped Ethereum, W-E-T-H, and we're gonna send it over the Ronin network. You cannot use the Ethereum main network because you're sending it to the Ronin sidechain. You have to use the Ronin network, okay? Now, this warning is here, but they've actually changed this, so you only need to copy this address here. It already has Ronin colon at the beginning, which is nice. Then you go ahead and open up your Ronin wallet where you have your Ethereum. Click on wrapped Ethereum, click on send, paste your address and send the amount you want. In my case, I'll just send the full balance and then you click next. And it's gonna ask you to confirm this transaction because you're using the Ronin network, there are no fees to go from Ronin to Binance. So you can go ahead and you can confirm that and then it will take just a few minutes to confirm this transaction, so we'll jump back to it. That happens pretty fast, and then what you'll see under your Ronin wallet, in activities, you can see you had a transfer, success, and then if you scroll down under recent deposits in Binance, you will also see the transaction there. So then you can go ahead and you can go to your Fiat and Spot wallet. You can type in wrapped Ethereum like I said, and right here you will see the total available that you now have in your Binance account. Keep in mind, this is wrapped Ethereum. So if you wanna do something else with it, first you're gonna to have to unwrap it. And what's really nice is Binance does this for free. They do a one-on-one conversion. So what you can actually do is you can click the convert button right here. You can click in wrapped Ethereum and it will show you the only thing you can convert it to is Ethereum. It will do this for a one-to-one -one transaction for free, but you can only do it if you have 0.1 Ethereum. So if you don't have a full 0.1 wrapped Ethereum, you can't actually do much with wrapped Ethereum at all. So keep that in mind. See here, when you try to preview it, there's a minimum warning. You need 0.1 wrapped Ethereum to switch it back to Ethereum. So let that be a warning because you do need this 0.1 minimum. But once you have it, then you can swap it for Ethereum and then from Ethereum to your local currency or to whatever you want to do. Maybe you just want to use it back on the Ethereum main network, okay? There is no harm in holding the wrapped Ethereum if that's what you want to, in case maybe you want to send it back to Ronin in the future. That's everything for now. If I've missed something, if I didn't answer all your questions, if you want to know more, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that great stuff, and I will see you soon with another video.